Oh, Darren. Hello. Okay, I'm recording this time. Oh, you are? I'm recording. Talk fast. We don't have that much storage. Okay. Uh, what this, you been doing? This is the latest prototype that I've been working on. It is, perhaps unsurprisingly, a Python tilting trike. Um, a little different from my current one. Uh, well, partly in that this is just kind of pieced together from whatever scraps I could find, but also in that this doesn't use the same um, Duchard joint tilting mechanism that the flow trike does. This is a swing arm mechanism, so there's these two swing arms. They are hinged right here. Actually, I've got these forks running into a couple of stems. The one and eighth inch well, stem's meant to clamp a one and eighth inch steer tube. You can, if you force it, fit a one inch headset cup into it. And so these are pivoting on one inch headsets, which are on a piece of one inch aluminum tube that is clamped down here in another stem that's going to the steering pivot. The steering pivot is just through a couple of um, blocks of plywood that I've drilled out to accept head, headset caps, or sorry, not plywood, 2x4. Um, it's not the greatest system, it's a little wobbly, but it works. Uh, the tilt control, or the, the not tilt control, but um, keeping the tilt ratio is this piece of one, uh, 1 8 inch cable that runs down through a pulley and up to the other fork. There's this other fork in the way. You can kind of see it. Um, I also wound up with part of a little razor type scooter. Conveniently, it um, fits a one and eighth inch steerer, and I had a shim down to a one inch. Uh, oh, fun fact if you put a 20 inch wheel in a 26 inch fork and you need brakes on it, you can take some old U-brakes, these things, and these, instead of having the brake pads above the post, have the brake pads below the post. So these almost reached, and with the original pads, they weren't quite there, but a pair of V-brake pads gave me just the extra little bit of space to make that brake work. Um, not the best brake. I really should have a different lever or a travel agent on there for adapting the pull ratio. Um, I fit in even more of the 1 8 inch stainless cable here. This was just left over from some fencing. Uh, but this is holding the distance between the, the pivot down here, the pivot block, and this front triangle that I've got in here temporarily, which is a convenient way to get a wheel on a bottom bracket and everything on a prototype like this. And then the rest of the connection between the steering pivot and the front triangle is just plywood on either side. Um, used a coaster brake wheel because I had it and because it's easy to just bolt the brake arm on there and then I've got brakes. And it works! It's rideable! Um, Fun thing about using this cable for the tilt control, I can lengthen or shorten that cable and it will raise or lower the entire trike and change the pivot angle. Um, and I had to do that. It was not riding well at all. And I shortened that cable to raise the trike and increase the pivot angle a little more toward vertical. And now it works great. Uh, I might give it a try on a longer ride tomorrow. So far I've just done figure eights in the parking lot outside, but I'm pretty pleased with how it's going. I think that's it for now. Um, this is like the, the third slight variation of this prototype, and it's working well. Maybe I'll uh, try a few more variations and then start finalizing the design in something that looks a little better, I guess. <laughs> That's it for now.